She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. Not up to hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. You actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A royal griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morin. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come! We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow at sunup then? Work you hard like I did in the good old days. <gasps> Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! Faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... it's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Mm. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. Ice shouldn't be too thick here. Uh-huh. Exactly, do you plan to catch anything? <laughs> You'll see. Oh, 
I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No, we'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. An old witch's trick for tough winners. Not terribly subtle, but... Effective? Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all, then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. All right, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Belagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back. Hmm. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. <laughs> you never gave me piggyback rides at Cam Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> Had to wait till now to remind me? You've put on some weight since Kaer Morhen. We should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage. Yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. That pendulum was a nightmare. How can I forget? Those months at Care Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long, argued really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters around forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. Traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. You know where to find me. You can't possibly.
possibly stay at Kaer Morhen all the time? Makes no difference. You'll find me. True. Remember what I taught you. Never know. Could be useful there too. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all the Danube. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, the Marians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, the Mir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Amir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities. From her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. 